Hello everyone, welcome to Chillopedia, this is Maxim. So good to see you again. Today we will work on chromatic scale. We will also learn two exercises from the Zauer Klingenberg Cello Method, Book 3, number 201 and 202. Now I will play for you exercise number 202 in the fast tempo. Don't worry if it sounds a bit intimidating. We will talk about this and I will play it for you in a slower tempo. This was a very exciting exercise to play. Let's learn it together. So, what is chromatic scale? Why we are often afraid of it? If you imagine all 12 possible tones in classical Western music, then, and if you put them together within the same octave, you will get this chromatic scale. The distance between notes in chromatic scale is half a step. Chromatic scale doesn't have a key, so you can start it from any note. Let's now play chromatic scale together. We will start it from open C and our tempo will be 60 beat per minute for the eighth note. I'm sure that you noticed that we used only three fingers. The same pattern, one, two, three, one, two, three. Whenever we could use open string, we did it, but besides of that, only three fingers. The exception was the highest note, G, which we used the fourth finger. However, if we would decide to continue, we would make another shift to G and we would continue one, two, three, one, two, three. This is the most common fingering for chromatic scales. Use open strings whenever possible and the rest of the notes play with the combination one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, if you got this scale right, we can play it two times faster. So now our tempo will be a quarter note 60 and we can play eight notes per ball. Ready? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, now we'll play the exercise number 201. It's not directly connected with our study of chromatic scale. However, as any exercise, it's very useful to learn different patterns with fingerings. And also review tenor clef. If you need a reference how to play in tenor clef, you can watch my previous lesson about tenor clef. It's time to work on the exercise 202. Let's first take care of the left hand. So this way I'll be playing in much slower tempo, say 8th note 40, and I will use three bowings to make sure we can pay all attention to the left hand.
Thank you for watching. I hope you will find this study of chromatic scale very useful. You will see chromatic scale in many pieces of music you will have to study in the future. Good luck and see you again soon.